<laughs> Welcome back to the Morning Blend. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, registered nursing is among the top 10 occupations with the largest job growth. It's a job with a lot of satisfaction, too. Nurses promote health, they prevent disease, and help patients cope with illness. Mm -hmm. Herzing University offers a hands-on learning experience, and it has an accredited program. So here with more is Christine Ny Nymek, who is the Associate Director of Admissions, and Michael Rodericks, who is an assistant professor there. So thanks so much for being here. And before we get to the interview, we want to share a great story about Becky, who didn't take the ordinary path to college. Check it out. I love running because it's just another thing in my life that feels completely freeing. You just get out there and run and everything goes away. My grandma's a southern woman and she has a drawl. When my grandma got sick, that was the first time in my life that somebody really important to me, anything bad had happened. During the course of her treatment while she was in the hospital, she talked about the nurses that took care of her and how much of a difference they made and that if it weren't for them, how much harder her having cancer would have been for her. And my grandma always knew how important it was to me to make a difference in people's lives. And so she told me that she thought I should go back to school for nursing. Every school I contacted let me know about all of the hurdles that I would need to jump through to come there. And then I contacted Herzing and they, there may have been hurdles, but the way that they presented it was, let's take this one step at a time. Don't throw the whole pile on, just one piece at a time. I had my first child right out of high school. Um, so while I graduated high school, maybe, maybe not the same start as everyone else going to college. But I feel like I had more motivation when I went to college because I knew my kids were watching. And how could I expect them to get the grades that I wanted them to get and not hold myself to the same standard? There's no limitations. As far as my career, I feel like I could go anywhere. And as far as my success, I feel like I could go anywhere. And as far as my family, I feel like we could go anywhere. I think I feel a little bit more free than I probably have felt in my whole life. So all the things that my grandma told me all these years about how I could do whatever I wanted with my life, maybe now I believe her. Mm. Wow. That what is What a testimonial. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, it's so touching, like, that her experience with her grandma changed her life. I mean, she she doesn't just have a career. It changed her life, being in nursing. And it sounds like Herzing was the place that made it, it possible for her to be free. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the things, nurses, we don't really do things to people. We work with people so they can become empowered, knowledgeable, and able to take control of their own health and their own lives. So the main thing that we do is we, in a healthcare setting, translate what's going on to patients because no one really wants to be in the hospital it's a hard time so it's hard to kind of grasp what the doctor's saying the nurse is saying the respiratory therapist the occupational therapist so as nurses what we do is we kind of look at the whole picture and say hey how's this impacting the patient and what do we need to do to allow the patient to take control of their own health care and then when they leave do the things they need to do to become better healthier, more functioning people, so they don't need to ever come back to the hospital. Mm -hmm. I think that's fantastic. After watching that, I mean, you, you, you just, I, I think everybody's like, I want to be a nurse now. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like, it's such a noble exactly. thing to be able to give that kind of care to somebody. I think it's really neat. You guys have just recently been awarded an, an accreditation um, that's very important. It's the CCNE. What does that stand for, right. and, and why is it important? That's the Commission on Collegiate Nursing Education, and basically it's a independent organization that is recognized by the Department and Secretary of Education that basically states that our program can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with any other accredited program, be it UWM, Marquette, wherever has a nursing program. So we've met the minimum requirements for a program that will meet any national standard. Now, of course, we don't want to be at the minimum. We try to do the most we possibly can to make the experience the best. And again, as Becky had said, there are a lot of hurdles. We don't like to think of them as hurdles. We like to think of them as challenges. And when mm -hmm. you challenge someone, it gives them the opportunity to grow. And as a nurse, there's unlimited opportunities to grow personally and with your career. And I see more and more guys um, yeah. when I go to healthcare facilities uh, working as nurses and mm -hmm. proud to, to be nurses. What are your thoughts on that as a man? Oh, absolutely. I think nursing is a great career. Um, myself, personally, I'm not a desk person. So I get to mm -hmm. interact with people all day long. I get to be around the coolest technology, some of the smartest people out there, and I get to help people 
impact their lives. It's not like being, you know, the best cog creator in the world where you think, oh, <laughs> I made this really good widget. No, we're actually helping people to improve their lives. And that, that's an, an impact that you can't really gauge. Um, one of the neatest things as a nurse is when you see somebody out in the street and they remember who you are. You may not remember them specifically because yeah. we see a lot of people. Of and when someone comes up to you and has an actual heartfelt thank you, it, it's, it really makes a lot of difference to what you do. And it really makes everything we do work, worth mm -hmm. it. What do you Christy, want to know about technology? I want to know about our other guest, yes. Annie. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, why do you have Annie here with us, and, and how do you use this as a teaching tool? Well, we want to be as interactive with as we can with the students. So we brought Annie on to kind of give you a taste of what it would be like in the beginning stages of a nursing program. So I'll let Mike kind of tell you what Annie can do. Yeah, okay. what can Annie do? Annie can do a lot. Um, basically, I have a small handheld controller. Turn it toward the camera so we can see. It's like right there. Yep, perfect. Little so mini controller. I can control all the vital signs, um, all the different things with Annie. So Annie has a basic set of vitals. They can do lung sounds, heart sounds, bowel sounds. Have her make a sound. I can speak through she her. She can do a one. bowel sound. Can you make it? Well, a bowel sound we may not <laughs> want to have her do. But <laughs> if she doesn't get the appropriate care, she may not. <laughs> Respond quite as yes. you might want to. What did she well, just do? That was do? a barf sound. That, that would be a vomit sound. We can cough. <laughs> I think mine's better. Let me hear her cough. <coughs> and if it's Halloween, <coughs> we can have a bit of screaming. <laughs> But the neat thing about this kind of technology, this is considered a low fidelity mannequin. So this can't do everything the higher fidelity mannequins do. The high fidelity mannequins, we can have blink, dilate eyes, sweat, urinate. They wow. have every vital you can imagine, all the pulses in the correct places. So this sets up the scene to have students act actually multitask and apply the information they're doing. Just like any profession, you have tools that you use. As nurses, we use information as tools. And if you mm -hmm. can't adequately use the information or tool you have, it's really hard to impact the patient in a way that's meaningful to them to make them get better. Don't you have one that even gives birth? We do. I, uh, That's unbelievable. Are you guys, are you feeling that? <laughs> <laughs> if I could use that one as a surrogate, I'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, that'd be great. I'd have more kids. <laughs> yeah. That's was, incredible, yeah. though, that, that, that somebody can get yeah. true hands-on experience in delivering a baby before, before helping someone, yeah. a live person, mm -hmm. do that. I mean, just the, I mean, it's mind-boggling. Yeah. And, it's, and the neat thing about this is that we're putting students in situations where they're actually thinking in real time and having mm -hmm. to do things. And one of the most difficult things as a nurse, and I think we've all experienced this, things sound really good in our heads. Yeah. Until we actually try to verbally communicate things, we don't quite know how it's going to come across. And as a nurse, we have to talk a number of languages, doctor, nurse, other health professionals, patient, family member. Mm -hmm. So it's really difficult to kind of choose your words at times. So this gives an opportunity because I get to speak directly through the patient. So I respond to how the, the students are providing care. If they're providing good care, the patient responds in a positive way. If mm -hmm. it isn't quite where they need to be, the patient doesn't get bad, uh, better as fast or it can respond negatively with screams or whatever utterances I want to have. So it's a very interactive, very didactic, didactic experience for them because they're responding to the patient in real time and they actually have to use the information they're gaining from the patient to actually yeah. decide what they're going to do or what they're not going to do and they have to have hard objective data to justify whatever they do or choose not to do. Well if you were as inspired as we were and motivated, here's the information for hers and classes start January 6th. There's a VIP orientation going on Friday, December 20th. You just have to call and speak with an advisor to get signed up for that. There's also scholarships still available for the January 6th classes. So you can find out more about that in the Brookfield cam uh, campus at 262-649-1710 or herzing.u edu slash brookfield thanks you guys thanks annie that was great thank you really cool <laughs> thanks you guys and an incredible testimonial yeah. from becky thank you for sharing that Appreciate with us it.